you need to guide a robot from the red dot on the left to the green dot on the right, avoiding the blue walls along the way. To do this, you must feed it a series of commands of the form turn blank degrees and move blank units forward. Angles are measured in degrees with positive angles turning counterclockwise and negative angles turning clockwise. All turns are relative to the robot's current direction when it turns. The grid marks one unit squares. From the red starting dot with the robot facing directly right, issue the commands. All commands should be given as decimal values. We will round the decimal values to the tenths or one decimal place. The first step is to determine a possible path using just four moves. And here is one possible path. We have move one, move two, move three, and move four. Let's take this path to the next slide and begin determining the turn angles as well as the length of each move. Focusing on move one, let's take a look at the horizontal and vertical components of the move. Notice the horizontal component for move one would be four units right and five units up. Also notice how this forms a right triangle, which we can then use to help us determine the turn angle as well as the length or distance of the move. The length of the move is going to be the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Let's label that C. And the turn angle is going to be this angle here, which we will call angle theta. And notice how this angle is measured counterclockwise, and therefore this will be a positive angle, and it will be this acute angle of the right triangle. Let's begin by determining C using the Pythagorean theorem, which will give us C squared equals Let's let a equal four and b equal five, which gives us four squared plus five squared. C squared equals 16 plus 25. C squared equals 41. Taking the principal square root of both sides, because we know c has to be positive, we have c equals the square root of 41, which we now need to round to one decimal place which gives us 6.4. And now let's use right triangle trig to determine the turn angle, angle theta. Remember, tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, and therefore angle theta is equal to inverse tangent or arctangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us theta is equal to inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us 5 fourths, now we go back to the calculator and make sure the calculator is in degree mode. Pressing mode, notice how it is in degree mode. Go back to the home screen. Press second tangent, five divided by four, close parenthesis and enter, which gives us approximately 51.3 degrees. Let's go ahead and label this in the right triangle. and record our move. So the turn is 51.3 degrees, so we enter 51.3 degrees is already there, and move approximately 6.4 units forward. And now let's focus on move two, which is this move here. So let's show the vertical and horizontal components of the movement. The vertical component is down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units and write one, two, three, four units. And again, we will use this right triangle to help us determine the turn angle as well as the length of the move. So C, the hypotenuse, is going to be the length of the move. We need to be careful about the turn angle, though. The turn angle is measured from the direction the robot is pointing, which now is in this direction here. So the turn angle is going to be this red angle here this time. And because it is clockwise, it is going to be negative. So to find this angle, we'll have to use some geometry as well as some right triangle trig. Notice how if we were to sketch a horizontal line here and a horizontal line here, the angle that we found in the previous right triangle that measures 51.3 degrees corresponds to this angle up here, this angle. So this angle is also 51.3 degrees. We will need this later. Let's begin by determining C. Now we have C squared 
is equal to, let's say, 4 squared plus 7 squared. C squared is equal to 16 plus 49. C squared is equal to 65. Square root both sides. And we get C is equal to the square root of 65. which is approximately 8.1. Now to determine the angle theta in the right triangle, which is this angle here, we need this so that we can find this angle here that will then add to 51.3 degrees to determine the turn angle. So the angle theta in the right triangle is equal to inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is 4 sevenths. Theta is approximately 29.7 degrees. So let's go ahead and label that. So this angle in the right triangle is 29.7 degrees. Notice this angle plus this angle here that we need are complementary, meaning the sum is 90 degrees, so they form a right angle. And therefore, this angle that we need is 90 degrees minus 29.7 degrees, which is 60.3 degrees. And now we can find the turn angle. 51.3 plus 60.3 is 111.6, but because the angle is clockwise, it's going to be negative 111.6 degrees. So move two is negative 111.6 degrees, and the move has a length of 8.1 units. And now let's focus on move three. Again, let's take a look at the horizontal and vertical components of the movement. Here's the horizontal component. And here's the vertical component. Horizontally, we have a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 units. Vertically, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. And again, we have a right triangle where the hypotenuse C is going to be the length of the movement. And the turn angle, again, is measured from the direction the robot is pointing, which in this case is going to be this red angle here. Notice how it is counterclockwise. It will be positive. And if we consider this horizontal line and this horizontal line cut by this transversal, this angle of 60.3 degrees corresponds to this angle here, which we need as part of the turn angle. Let's go ahead and label this 60.3 degrees. Again, this angle corresponds to this angle here, measuring 60.3 degrees. Let's measure angle theta in the right triangle. And now we'll determine C and theta. C squared is equal to 7 squared plus 11 squared. C squared equals 49 plus 121. C squared equals 170. Taking the square root of both sides, we have C is equal to the square root of 170, which to the tenths place value is 13.0. And now let's determine the angle theta, which we will then add to 60.3 to determine the turn angle. Angle theta in the right triangle is equal to inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us 7 elevenths, which is approximately 32.5 degrees. Let's label this in the right triangle. This angle here is 32.5 degrees. And therefore, the turn angle, again, because it's Counterclockwise is positive, 60.3 plus 32.5, which is 92.8 degrees. So we enter a 92.8 degree turn, and the move is approximately 13.0 units forward. And we have one more move to consider, move four. Again, looking at the horizontal and vertical components of the movement, Vertically, we have to move one, two, three, four, five 
units down and one, two, three, four, five units right. Well, we should recognize this right triangle as a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And therefore the hypotenuse is going to be five square root two. And the angle theta in the right triangle will be 45 degrees. But let's go through the same process again. And again, we have to be careful about the turn angle. It's measured from this direction here. So this red angle is a turn angle, which is clockwise, and therefore it is going to be negative. Let's label the angle theta in the right triangle, which again, we should recognize will be 45 degrees. But using some geometry, if we consider this horizontal line and this horizontal line here, Notice how this angle that measures 32.5 degrees in the right triangle corresponds to this angle here. Let's go ahead and measure this 32.5 degrees. And now it's broken in determining C and theta, and then we can find this missing angle here that we need to determine the turn angle. We have C squared equals five squared plus five squared. C squared equals 25 plus 25 is 50. Square root both sides. We get c is equal to the square root of 50, which is equal to 5 square root 2. But we have to use decimals. We have approximately 7.1. Now we'll determine the angle theta, which will help us determine the turn angle. The angle theta is equal to inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us 5 fifths, which is equal to 1. Theta is equal to second tangent. Five divided by five is one, which does give us 45 degrees. So if the angle in the right triangle is 45 degrees, and it's complementary with this missing angle here, because together they form a right angle, then we know that this angle here is also 45 degrees. And therefore, this turn angle is going to be the sum of these two, but also negative. 32.5 plus 45 is 77.5 degrees. But again, because the direction is clockwise, the turn angle is negative 77.5 degrees. And the length of the move is 7.1 units. I hope you found this explanation helpful. Thank you for watching.